Dozens of people who live at an Orange Park assisted living facility are now in limbo. They just found out that Medicaid will no longer fund their stay. Our Honey Rodriguez is on your side in Orange Park getting some answers. We know that 31 residents who live right here at Astoria will have to find a new home. Now, some of them telling me it's a pretty scary situation they had nothing to do with, and the clock is ticking. It's very, very difficult at 55 years old to have to go out and reestablish oneself again. Cohen has less than four weeks to find a place to live. She moved to Astoria assisted living in Orange Park last October, hoping it would be her home for years to come. But on Wednesday, she received different news from management. Cohen and 30 other residents were told they had to pack their bags. For me, in this situation, in between surgeries, having a service animal, having to find a place that accepts service animals, um, and so on and so forth, it's just a lot of stress. First Coast News learned the owner of the facility received a letter from the state saying funding is being terminated after he was involved with a medical lab in Jacksonville that ran into some problems with the federal government. As part of that agreement, he could not be involved with federal health care programs like Medicaid. We reached out to the owner, but our calls have not been returned. The executive director, Harry Mangini, told us management just learned the news last Friday, and they are also in shock. We won't let anybody be on the street, but we are aggressively looking to help them in every possible way. In the meantime, Cohen is already trying to figure out her situation. On Friday, she and a few others toured Noble Gardens assisted living facility in Jacksonville with hopes to make that her new home. Now, Rhonda Hatley, operations manager, is working with residents and their caseworkers to rescue as many residents as they can. We're trying to figure out what her needs are and if we can really help her and then we'll get her moved in. Dozens of residents have until June 21st to make new living arrangements. I don't know how much worse this could be, um, except I'm not wishing to find out. Cohen told me she's sad to leave this place that she's called home and of course some of her dear friends. In Orange Park, I'm Honey Rodriguez, First Coast News on your side.